interesting. I, I had mentioned before what the, the order of speaking would be, and now we're changing it because um, Nusrat Yurtu from Turkey this, uh, was so interested by what you had to say that he, he wanted very much to be the next person to speak and, and also integrate talking about what he's doing into, into a lot of the remarks that, that um, you made, Frank. And so I'd like to, to introduce um, Nusrat Yurtu, who is the CEO of Taze and Kuru. And as I said, uh, Tazan Kuru is a company which is in the business call to action framework of UNDP, which are businesses that are um, that are committed to um, uh, to working with um, poor populations and working in order to improve the lives of poor people in developing countries. Um, and and he'll speak about about his company and also about how he what sort of support he gets from the international community and 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 how he feels about that support. Um, so, Nusrat, it is a very big pleasure to be able to introduce you. I think yesterday around noon we weren't quite sure this was going to happen, but I'm very excited that it is. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, uh, good morning for everyone. Uh, I uh, explain briefly what uh, we are doing. I am the chairman of uh, Taze Kuru Company. Uh, and actually this presentation uh, prepared for uh, business call to action uh, final uh, business call to action uh, UNDP's US aid, UK aid uh, plenty of uh, big organizations uh, top uh, umbrella organizations so what we are doing basically we are uh, actually drying fruits and vegetables uh, by using geothermal water. Uh, how uh, we started, uh, Turkey is one of the best country for fruits and vegetables. We have 46 million tons uh, production per year, but unfortunately we are wasting 10 to 12 million tons fruits and vegetables uh, to the waste. Uh, the main reason actually uh, the transportation cost in Turkey from the land to the uh, distribution points. The second point, Turkey one of the best country for uh, geothermal water and unfortunately again we are wasting 95 percentage of this uh, geothermal water. So uh, this is our starting point. This is Turkey's geothermal water. Red points shows the geothermal area from west to east we have plenty of. And this is another uh, news uh, onion, very, very valuable product. Uh, when the onion penetrates to the market with a price of, uh, <coughs> let's say, uh, one euro, and then drops to 10p euro, the producers are uh, leaving the onion on the ground. Uh, so w we listed we listed the uh, problems, waste in the energy, waste in the raw material, uh, obesity, can cancer, plenty of problems. Uh, what we are saying basically as a solution, by using geothermal water, uh, drying the fruits and vegetables uh, is an approach and also we call a um, micro uh, development model uh, for uh, developing countries. Uh, first of all, why drying? Drying is the ancient food preservation method. If you leave the apple here, two days later apple uh, goes waste. But if you dry the apple uh, in a proper way, uh, you can uh, consume more than a, a year. Uh, there are two kinds of um, technique for drying in the world. One of them is sun dry, the second one is uh, by fossil fuels, by, by using fossil fuels. But both of them have serious problems. Uh, on the other hand, uh, this is very old figure, but uh, 2013 figure is 12 billion. There is a big demand in the world uh, for dried fruits and the market size reached 12 billion. And those are some samples from uh, U.S. and uh, Europe market. Uh, so th there is a big demand for dried, proper dried uh, products. This is a picture from Turkey. Uh, since we are using the most expensive electricity in the world, uh, five, six years ago, uh, all the uh, manufacturers uh, using uh, electricity fuel 
shut down and they turn to uh, sun dry. And in the sun dry process, there are three problems. One of them is uh, lack of hygienity. Birds are flying, rats are walking, uh, dusts. And the second one is, uh, unfortunately, they are using chemicals. Uh, and you know the chemicals, chemicals are the main reason for uh, cancer. Uh, uh, to keep the uh, color and to prolong the life shelf uh, of the product. The third one, uh, which is the main problem in my country, aflatoxin, mainly happens uh, uh, during the drying uh, terms, and it's a main uh, cancer agent. Uh, this is another, we, Turkey is the main market maker for fig, uh, grape, and uh, apricot. And uh, unfortunately, uh, this is the uh, situation. So this is our um, aflatoxin zero uh, and 100% uh, hygienity uh, laboratory results. Uh, I'm passing this. Uh, on the other hand, the market is uh, growing. Why growing? Uh, because um, actually uh, this is the best uh, case. Five years ago in UK, uh, the Minister of Education banned the chips uh, in the schools. The reason is chips is the main trigger for obesity. And obesity as of today, number one uh, problem more than cancer in the world. Uh, and as of today, uh, Turkey also uh, banned the chips in the schools. And then uh, the demand is uh, exploded uh, for dried fruits because it's a good substitute uh, for chips, chocolates, and uh, candy. Uh, also, uh, the doctors are saying that stay away from um, chemicals and also consume on, uh, only the in the season and out of the season, the right proper uh, dried ones. Uh, I mentioned obesity. This is very interesting. Uh, just a few months ago, Mexico uh, put to tax uh, for some uh, products uh, to stop the obesity. And in the last Halloween, uh, Michelle Obama uh, distributes instead of candy, she distributes dried products. So the, uh, the demand is increasing. And what we are doing, again, with our patented uh, process, uh, we are using geothermal energy as a source of energy to produce value-added product, because we are using renewable energy to, uh, intru uh, to decrease the cost of energy. According to the statistics or studies, um, According to the uh, uh, information, to get one kilogram dried fruits and vegetables, you have to use four liters fuel, which is six to eight US dollar per kilogram as an energy cost. So by replacing the geothermal energy, we dramatically cut the cost uh, of energy. But more than this, as a value, we are not using any single chemicals or additives during our process. And you, you are tasting our some of uh, products totally 100% free from chemicals and additives. Uh, and the most important uh, point, our process actually, uh, it's a, it has a serious social side effect. Uh, our factor is in uh, Kızılcahamam, located in Ankara. Uh, we are working with the small-scale farmers. Uh, as of today, 20 small-scale farmers, we are getting our raw materials. Uh, we are using local uh, employees who are uneducated, mainly women. Uh, and also, uh, since we are using renewable energy, we have no carbon uh, issue. Uh, this is also our other uh, points. And those products actually for export products as of uh, today for Turkey. So this is a, uh, for countries, uh, additional value. For, our, uh, for those reasons, uh, the business call to action members choose us uh, a company as an uh, innovation that improves lives, and uh, UNDP uh, promoting our company as a, a sustainable uh, business model. Uh, because we are creating an economical environment for uh, small cities and uh, developing 
uh, countries. Uh, so briefly, uh, this is my uh, uh, presentation. Uh, I, I, I thank you to you for listening. <laughs>